Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The social media giant Facebook is facing a record $5 billion fine in a settlement with US regulators over breaches of its users' privacy and data security. The personal information of millions of Facebook users was gathered and passed on to another company, uh, Cambridge Analytica, which then targeted users with political messages. Our technology correspondent Dave Lee reports from San Francisco. Facebook has become the largest player in social media, with more than 2 billion users. The network and the data it holds on those users is now one of the world's most valuable commodities. But it failed to protect that information. Users' personal details, including ages, marital status, even their political leanings, were harvested. Okay. Mark Zuckerberg has apologised, but now regulators are set to impose a massive $5 billion fine on his company. Five years ago, around 300,000 Facebook users took part in a personality quiz. It gathered information on them and their Facebook friends, around 87 million people. It's claimed the data was used for political purposes, including helping elect Donald Trump to the White House. It's alleged the British political consultancy Cambridge Analytica bought the data and used it to identify potential supporters and send them political messages. Facebook has consistently, aggressively violated consumer privacy. And I believe, at least in the US, it's a calculated decision. Um, I think the company has uh, prioritized growth at any cost. Facebook has said nothing so far about the proposed huge penalty. This record fine is unlikely to satisfy Washington. Many Democrats and some Republicans have criticized the penalty on one of the world's richest companies as merely a slap on the wrist. Dave Lee, BBC News, San Francisco. Now, US regulators are said to have agreed to fine Facebook a record $5 billion to settle the investigation into the Cambridge Analytica scandal, which revealed widespread privacy violations. The Federal Trade Commission has been investigating claims that the social media firm improperly shared the data of up to 87 million users with the now defunct Cambridge Analytica. Allegations first revealed by this programme. Parag O'Brien reports. We need that sense of, of intimacy more than, more than ever. So that's why I believe that the future is private. Whatever about the future being private, Facebook's past was not. It's being reported that the U.S. Federal Trade Commission has approved a fine of $5 billion against Facebook for mishandling users' personal information. Assuming it's rubber stamped by the Justice Department, it will be the biggest fine levied by the federal government against a tech company. It relates to revelations made by this program and others last year. If you look here in the underlying source code, um, and which, which I wouldn't normally see. No, you wouldn't normally see. Um... In 2014, a Facebook quiz invited users to find out their personality type. But the app also collected the public data of friends of those taking the quiz. According to Facebook last year, information of up to 87 million people was harvested. At least some of that data was sold to Cambridge Analytica, a British political consultancy firm. Elections are won by small but crucial numbers of votes. It was then used to psychologically profile US voters and also used to target voters here in the run-up to the Brexit vote. The episode was generally considered to have undermined the democratic process. So, how damaging is this fine to Facebook? Well, shares in the company rose yesterday when news of the fine started filtering through. The size of the fine needs to be set against Facebook's overall profits. So, for example, in April, the company reported a record first quarter revenue of nearly $15 billion. In a tweet, would-be Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren called the company, quote, too big to oversee and said it should be broken up. Democratic Senator Ron Wyden said Mark Zuckerberg should be held personally responsible. So far, there's been no reaction from Facebook itself. Facebook is walking a tightrope in Washington here. On one side, some Democrats baying for the company's blood. On the other, Donald Trump accusing them and other social media companies of being biased against conservatives. 
What if everyone was invited to the global economy? Mark Zuckerberg's eyes, though, are on the prize. Facebook's proposed cryptocurrency project, Libra. Introducing Libra, a new global currency. The question used to be, do you trust Facebook with your data? The next big question, would you trust Facebook with your money?